Uh, let me get my splits here. Is it this one? Yep. Okay, let me move this a little bit. Oops. That's wrong. Let's open it again. There you go. It was me. All right. Thank you for the follow, Cianbeo. Or Cianbeo. I don't know how to pronounce your name. So you turn on darkness. Run on Reddit. Oh, nice. So I follow. I love this game. I played. So when I was young, same as me, it was one of my favorite games when I was young and I think it's still today is my favorite horror game, like definitely. This video is fine, okay. But yeah, I love this game. Again, I didn't do the the split for pies. So I guess whatever. Another run without that split. No big deal, really. Level two is the hell of me when I was a kid. Yeah. Like with the sunny effects. Like a lot of the effects are, let's say, for the character, but also I'll say, no, not necessarily most of them, but a lot of them are also for the player too. Basically, like breaking the fourth wall, like the one that just the erases could not see your before. your save files. That one is scary as fuck. <laughs> it's like another kind of of terror, you know. Yeah, the bathtub was really... Yeah, especially, like, that one is, is pretty much a, a jump scare. There's not a... I'll say there's not a lot of jump, sca jump scares on this game. <coughs> so that one usually got you... Uh, caught you off guard. Slow pickup. Just one second. Yeah, and just the, the scary noises in general. So there's always gonna be a, a tutorial in your first pause. As far as we know, there's no way to avoid that. I don't know if I'm going to remember everything on this run because I did make some small changes essentially just on segments but if I don't feel confident about them in the middle of the run I might just don't do it I might also just get confused between strats which kind of sucks but it's kind of what happens when the game is still not completely developed from speedrun perspective, so we're still changing a lot of stuff here and there.
Not the best pies on my PV. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. Like, to me personally, um, the main reason why, for example, I'm running this game and I run other games that I run, um, I kind of like quote unquote undeveloped games on speedrun. Uh, this one is actually the most developed one that I run, I decided to run because it, it already had like a community before I was here. So there was some roading done, there was people looking into it already. Um, so, um, what I was saying? Oh yeah, so there's this thing on speedrun that I think there is like four, what I call four, four pillars of speedrunning. Uh, the first one is like glitch hunting and research, which is just messing with the game basically. Uh, just playing the game and see what you can do with it. The second one is like roading and testing, which is taking all the tools that you just discovered and making the best out of it. And then after that comes the usual part, which is just running and grinding to get better at the game and at the road that you just came up with. And the, f the fourth pillar is, I, I call it like meta speed running, which is everything that goes after that, which is like recording, uh, doing marathons, races, some people that do like all kinds of categories or bingos or whatever, randomizers, all, the, all those things. And yeah, in most games, or not necessarily most games, but like in popular games, you usually just see the last two pillars. Or sometimes even just one. Like if you go for, let's say, Ogre of Time, you're just gonna go there running. Like everything is done. Or pretty much everything's done. Roading was already done. And there's not a lot to discover. So yeah, even while I know I pretty much don't have any viewership with this uh, kind of niche games. It definitely gives a better experience as a speedrunner, I think. Because you have to figure out everything. Most for the speedrun accomplishment is in any of my times, but my glitch finds. Yeah, it's it's pretty great to, to find glitches. It feels so good. Great warp. Oh Jesus, that's fucking big. One game, I'm still proud of that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's pretty much the biggest glitch you can find, find in a game. Alright, that should be okay. Yeah, we, we actually hadn't find a lot of glitches on this game. Um, it's kind of pretty solid. A very solid game. Hard to break. Uh, but we, hide, we find a few that are useful. And there's plenty of exploits too. And I've run out of... Oh, look at that. This is super bad. Whatever. 
it's no reset, so whatever. Yeah, the alien on my PV wasn't that great either. Gotta say. Yeah, I mean, doing doing runs is it's also a thing by itself. Like, it's just it's just different stuff. That's why why I I kind of like to separate those four pillars because it's it's like you need b very different abilities for all of them, and that's why it's it's like so cool to be able to do all of them in just one game. Yeah, yeah, that's how the effect it's uh, it's kind of luck based. If you are unlucky, you're gonna get it. Usually, what you want is to get one that doesn't lose any time, or just don't get one at all. From my research. It is apparent that the yeah, look, uh, Sunny, Sunny epics are like the biggest timeless, maybe, like the biggest timeless that you don't have a lot of control over, over it, over it. There are other timeless like getting caught by a trapper, for instance. If you get caught by a trapper, you you're gonna lose uh, between forty seconds to one minute. Oh my God! What is oh, it? But that's this if you get sweat. caught by a trapper, it's totally your mistake. Happen. Or like I bad reaction time. Feared the most. And the rest is like menuing. There is a lot of optimization. You can do a menuing. It's probably like half of the run. <laughs> like how many seconds? Um it depends on the sanity effect, uh, but they go from like 8 seconds to about 27 seconds. 27 is like the worst, but most of them are from 8 to 12 seconds. Goodbye. So yeah, let's say if you, if you get like four extra sanity effects, uh, that can be like forty seconds. That can be like one trapper. Really? I think I didn't target the second one. I'm glad it still died. I was on the save in, uh, part of the pause. This is cool. Yeah, I think it's one of the hardest things to master. I I definitely hadn't mastered yet. Like I can I can be faster, but but yeah, like when I started the run, I remember when when I saw the. The previous war record, I was like, my god, this menu is so insane, like, how the fuck I'm gonna do this? And, yeah, it was pretty much just practice, just doing a lot, um, but I still mess up some stuff. Because, I'm still human. <laughs>
But yeah, it's definitely it's definitely half of the run, if not more. Just knowing all you had, everything you have to do on the menu, and it's it's gonna be a little bit more crazy later when I have to do a lot of spells. Am I far here? No. Okay. And also, the, the, the pause menu takes like 0 0.5 seconds to load. And every time you, you load it, you have to unload it then. So it's basically every pause that you do is like one second. So we want to do the most things we, we want, we can on just one pause. Like every extra pause that we, we do in the run is one extra second basically. Yeah, it's a lot of menuing. <laughs> when you get to 5 and 7 seven power runes, it's a lot. Oh. oh, this sucks. I got the Insta Tower on my PB. They got troll here. Run too far away. Actually, you shouldn't run there. You can walk a little bit, or you can sneak. If you sneak, I think it's, it might be faster. So I'm probably gonna be behind after this. Uh, the numbers after the the splits are is the amount of time of times I have successfully beat that split. So it kind of gives you an idea. Yeah, walking is best, right? Uh, it gives you an idea of where I I did my resets. Almost. So for instance, out of my 13 runs, only 6 of them had reached episode 11. Ashes to Ashes. Matching star to get rid of a cutscene that I can't get rid of. Right, time to break the key. Oops. I keep doing that. Dream. Dreams. Modern psychology of should be able to save some seconds on Kareem. Um by doing actually what you said, sir. The um, just activating each zombie but separated. Uh I timed that, that saves like three seconds. And if I get the, the quick horror, I can save like three more, I guess, or two more. But that one is, is just so tricky. The rest of my Kareem was pretty good, so... Let's 
is that thing when you are far away so it doesn't body block you match B here you don't have to go farther to reach that that ladder after the, the barrier you can basically just match B after the barrier disappears Running diagonally. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I guess it's, it's probably because you reach the horror faster. Yeah, I make this thing. Like, there's just no reason to run straight to the horror. <laughs> so let's try that. I'm probably gonna fail because improvising. I failed one of the other cancels. But I think it still was a little bit faster than my PV. Good trapper. That's a very nice trapper. Now it's gonna be scary on my way back. So I might sneak a little bit there. Because usually when, when the trapper... When you when you have a like a late trapper on that room, uh, it can explode very very instantly when when you're going back. But if you have a, an early trapper, it's very hard that that one explodes later. I don't know which one was the third. Probably not that one, Kareem. Anyway. No. That was almost frame perfect. The second bone teeth. And I actually should do these spells on. Oh no, no, never mind. I didn't say anything. Safe. There you go. Karim just appears too close on the on the late trapper. Like I've been getting caught. I've got caught by that a couple times. So I find that when you got late trapper, just the most safe strat is to sneak a little bit. Now we have some dogs. 
Because why not? See if I save any time. Yep. Good. Good. That was probably the the three zombies. That gold. Skipping the sequel. Sequel skip. And we're gonna be skipping that for many, many chapters. All of them, actually. Now you gotta get the key here. It's the most optimal place to get it, or moment to get it. Message after this, so you kind of want to be matching B after that cutscene, and after this one too, to get the bullets immediately. Then equip the pistol. Discover the secret room. So we can get some nice monsters in the house. Second door. Don't you remember that? There's the trapper. Please don't troll me. They troll me. Oh, that was pretty good. I don't know if I got hit. Maybe I got hit. Sometimes you get hit like. I wanna say in the same frame. When you kill it. I don't know if it is like the same frame or, or there's like a window. And like you, you get the nod back after the cutscene. It had happened to me a couple times on Anthony. Alright, 
I saw spells before this. Here. Reload. Attack. Kind of a slow attack. I want lady, please. All right, I don't like the lady on this position, so I'm gonna do sanity downstairs. It's kind of a backup strat, and I just forgot to open this on the other menu. That's just muscle memory, it happens. There you go. We need that recovery to skip a cutscene here. Or a sanity effect. Saves a bunch of time. We don't actually need to be full on sanity. Alright, can I get this? I got it in the BB. So by doing the, a spell extremely close to a barrier, you can do the spell in the cutscene of the barrier, saving you all the time of doing the spell, which by... for enchant item is about 6 seconds save. And for other spells, it's, it's less than that. For most spells of, of 3, power 3 is gonna be like 2.1 two seconds. Enchant item does take a lot. Because of the text and all that. Okay, where are you at? Oh, you trolley fucker. Such a gold. I guess my last gold was on on the pre old road, maybe. Like I didn't have any gold with the with the most recent run. So now to Edward's room. Discover this. And use the key that we just get before. The ancient's influence was And now one of the most technical chapters. Probably the one that, if you're learning the game, this one is, is the one that is gonna give you a lot of trouble. Oh, you're a spider. Whatever. That took so much. Yeah, I got a war record on... Friday, I think? Was it Friday? I'm almost sure it was Friday. Uh, I got a PV for 
about 20 seconds. It was a it was a run that could could be PD for a, like two minutes. But I did like a very big mistake at the end. So I just beat by 20 seconds. So technically, even if I play a little bit bad here, uh, as far as I don't do any big mistake, I can I can PvE. Traps are probably is definitely one of the most difficult things to learn. It took me a lot a while to just memorize all of them. Like you you definitely get used to them after just practicing the chapter over and over. But you're gonna have a period when you're learning learning the game where a lot of rooms are kind of mixed together. Like you, you can't really, you don't know exactly in which room you are. So you get confused with the traps and all that. All right, that's pretty good. This goes as intended. I have one bullet for the next zombie. I hope it doesn't troll me. Alright. Small new strat there. Got tired there, it's fine. Because after this we, we got all the stamina back. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna explode here. Yeah, whatever. It's not that important. Yeah, I should I should have done the the recover before then. I play too risky because sometimes there you ha you actually have enough stamina to don't do the recover there. I should have reacted to that because I got seen by the reaper a couple times. All right, thank you, zombie. If the reaper sauce you more than two times, I think. Uh, you can't do that. Nice. Let's go. Okay, that was... That one was perfect too. And out of steam, but it's fine. I'm just gonna do a recovery here. Touch any trap. Okay, I failed that, but it's fine. I'd rather just finish it. You can do a spell on that button, just like I did on the barrier. But even if you don't get the, the trick, you you should still do the spell, just normally, because it helps you for recovering sanity, I mean stamina, so you can make that, that passage, otherwise you're gonna be, you're probably gonna be tired before completing the passage. We 
put the gold things and we get access to basement number three. And a cutscene. <coughs> Unskippable. This can be happening. Yeah, I'm away. Oh, that was <laughs> so. Um, when when a green horror attacks you with with an electric attack, your controller get um, what's it called? It gets reverse. So I actually managed there to run in the opposite direction. To long, don't lose any time. <laughs> Yo, Kurt! Thanks for the good luck. How are you doing? I think our recovery wasn't completely mandatory, but I kind of wanted to be safe through there. Just a little sneak there allows you to pass those blades very safely. And I should be okay until the pool. Pretty good, thanks. I'm doing pretty good. Doing a no reset, hopefully. Uh, okay. this and this and then we're going to manually cast this to get it on the barrier that one is not that hard to get because you can use the pause to kind of buffer it so the, the pause does help there but it's still kind of hard okay good so you don't get caught by the blades those are probably the hardest blades on this chapter because it's so easy to get confused by them so this is a super clean Lindsay like the only mistake on, on this one was the the explosion on the recovery yeah I, I kind of need some no resets because I'm gonna have the marathon next week is it next week or is two weeks don't remember but it's gonna be, it's gonna happen, so I kinda want to get used. Look at that. That was amazing. <laughs> Can't believe it. So yeah, that's basically doing less recoveries at the end. And just getting like more, more consistent stuff here and there. Less small mistakes. I got pretty much every trick. On that chapter I just failed the button so that was really good it's gonna be a difficult it's gonna be difficult to run against that with this PD uh, where is this here max cutscene Always be sure to get the dispel before this cutscene. Otherwise, this cutscene cancels it before it reaches the this window. Nice noises. Heresy in Europe during the time of the Inquisition. Now, time for Paul Luther. Time to, for some backtrack. Here incoming the two most backtracky chapters of the game. Paul and after this Roberto. I mean, it kind of depends because you can, you can argue that Edward and Alex are more backtracky in a way. But those ones are more like repetitive, more than backtracking, I'll say. Yeah, 
you can open the door uh, before the the glow the white white glow it's disappears basically just match me when that cutscene is over Alright, let's see this camera. It's kind of tricky because it reverses your controllers immediately. So you, do, you don't have any control on the camera on this game. There's no way to change it. There's like fixed angles. And the controllers are 3D. They are not time controls. Which, for me, it's better. I, I really, I'm not a fan of time controls. But the only bad part about that is that uh, you have, like, you pretty much have to memorize every single room and every single angle of where you have to go and where it changes. Like, maybe time controls would be, like, an option. Could it, could it be an option for the game? Like, optional. Because that, that would have helped a lot with the TIS, right, sir? Because <laughs> I know that that's, that's one of the most difficult things about the TIS. Just dealing with the weird angles of the camera. Uh, finding the, the optimal movement. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. It couldn't be an option. Like... I think Silent Hill 2 has uh, both. It has like 3D controls and time controls. You can use any, I think. Almost sure. So now we have to collect the diary of Brother Andrew. Yes, it has. Yeah. I think that's that's kind of the best when, when games have the options, you know? There's a little cutscene here. You can't avoid it. You just have to see that monk being wrecked every single run. Alright, so new Anthony without shields. A little bit slower because I have to dodge attacks. But not doing shield definitely saves time overall. FL1. That's pretty good. I don't know if I can get it on, on the wall though. I might not be able to do it. Whatever. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. On my practice, I... I was able to defeat Anthony with five hits on the body, not on the head, but for some reason, I forgot the pull, you're right. For some reason, um, it didn't work here, so I'm just gonna go for the head every time. Where can I do the pull? I guess I, I'll just do it when I'm tired, which is around here. Whatever. It's just two seconds lost. Two guy con controls are s slower for turning. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the usually the back thing. Like for a while, I was very used to time controls. When I, uh, for a period of time, when I was playing a lot of Resident Evils, 
it's not that hard to get used to it, but it does feel weird when you go back to 3. Okay, so on this part, on the second pause that I did, where I cancelled the animation, uh, you can place the emerald, but you can only do it if you completely skip the, the knockback. There, I did have some knockback before the pause. So, when you have that, the game doesn't allow you to, to use the yeah well. It kind of thinks that you are too far away. So that's why I didn't use it on my second pause. some research to try to skip that meditation rod but it, it turned out to, to be still the best option it does take a lot of time the animation of it but it's just worth it so now we gotta go back because we have all the diary pages That's why I kill things here, to don't get body block. Last time I timed it, it was even. Like basically, if you run there and don't get any body block with good mo movement, it's about the same time than just killing them. So I decided to kill them because that way I don't have to think later about the body block at all. So we're gonna get that later. Because we need to go back here. And I actually found uh, the reason why we can't save on the big main uh, the main room main call of the church is because of that zombie the zombie that is on the second floor that is the zombie that prevents you from saving the I don't know the, the game kind of treats this whole area as just one and I think that's also the reason why Paul keeps looking up when you are in that part, I think he's looking at the zombie. So if you kill the zombie, you are actually you can I can actually save on this huge room. So for instance, if, if you want to make like a save file to practice doing five spells here, you should kill that zombie first. So you can save right here.
Alright, so I need to get shield later. On Roberto. Here, gonna skip the first one, I'm just gonna kill the other. You, you can skip the other, but I hadn't find a way that I'm comfortable with. And if you don't skip it, you get kind of really blocked between the light and the, the zombie. And you are like not in the best position to, to kind of do an attack from that part, from that point. So we're just gonna kill the statue and get, get here. Alright, so net leg here. So here's a very tricky thing that we have to do. We gotta go into a corner, you are a clever man. cast an attack, and then do a 90 degree turn, like that. That was pretty good actually. I didn't need the, that sword. That was kind of a safe strat, just in case I didn't get the, the trick. But yeah, it's very important that you do that 90 degree turn. It's like the most safe way. Like, you can technically just run there. But it's, it's kind of very RNG heavy if you just run there and try to get lucky with the bone thieves. That, that turn makes it more consistent. And it puts you in a good position to just react in case they don't get out of the way. You can just get a couple of slashes. Nice. So that, that was definitely the shield. I think the shield and just better movement in general. Good. Narcas cancel successful. If we get all the cast cancels, we're gonna save about five seconds, I think. It's five to four seconds. Because the. Um, the effect takes like 8 seconds, and doing all the cast cancel is about 3, 3 to 4, whatever. Need some piano glasses. <laughs> Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. Making some good use of those runes. You can actually do spells on my shot. <laughs> if you know the, ru the runes. Or you can just spam Pargon. Because there's gonna be a lot of Pargons later. Pargon is the is the rune of power. Basically, you have like all spells have three basic run runes, which is one of the alignment. It tells you like the attribute of it, and two else that make the spell. Like one is the objective, and the other is what it does on the objective. And then for all the spells that are five or seven. It's basically those same runes plus Pargons. And power, Pargon means power, so it's basically just doing the spell more powerful. Get body blood there. Wait. The sum of this is looking crazy. I, I just figured that out. It's so low. The segmented run is 2 hours 8. It's very old though. Pretty out outdated, but, but still. Oops. I 
working much too hard. So sadly we just kill one of our friends there. But it's the fastest way to... Okay. Uh, I should cast a bull here, right? I mean it's free. That might go out there is the fastest way to kill those trappers. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that side effect. Just don't pick up anything, because it's lower. And I can post that I can cast a pool there because all the magic that you waste on side effects, it's free. I could have casted the Reveal Invisible too. But I guess I'm fine with the pool. It does save me some some trouble. So what should I cast here? Another pool? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, like the optimal thing would have been doing the the real invisible instead of pull in the sanity effect. I need those backup strats in case I get a, a sanity effect. You can't really predict them, so you have to react. And it's better to like have those strat down. Uh, something else? Yeah, let's, let's put this one. So he's tired, but not anymore because it, this cutscene is on game time. So you recover your stamina here. And here we do a spell before this cutscene because that allows to do a glitch. There is a magic refill. Basically, you get all the magic you just wasted, you get it back. And that's pretty much the only glitch we use. <laughs> well, what is the other glitch that we use? Portal Cancel? I think that's it. Oh, Animation Cancel, that's the other one. <clears throat> so I guess we have like three, three glitches in the run. But yeah, that glitch allows for a lot of stuff. The magic reveal. Get out of here. Especially on the next chapter. But already on this one, it's it gives you some some time. Oh look at that. It's kinda weird. Oh that was the that was the zombie, right? Blue zombies suck some magic when they attack you. That's why it was why I needed some extra magic. Sir, I wonder... Here's something completely useless, but... We can cancel... Uh, the animation of the zombie, right? While it's walking. Have you tried, like, walking... With Roberto inside the thing? Like, and, like making the zombie and Roberto inside the thing? At the same time? Just for fun, because it's completely useless. But... Alright, that's... This is 
last survey, right? Yeah, it's good. Everything is going well. I haven't... <laughs> if that's possible, we need a video of that. <laughs> For like, glitch exhibition or something. I need a pull here. Just forgot about it. It's safer to do it on the previous uh, room. Because this can happen and that sucks. Now my sanity is bullshit. I just hope I don't run into a, an effect. I can have one on either this room, the next one, and another one that is later. So we'll see. Okay, no no effect here. If you get an effect here, you, you won't see your friends, the humans there. So you can kinda tell if you get it or not. And the same on this one. I got a random hit, so I think that means I'm not gonna get an effect. Because that's technically one. So we're fine. Now see how it goes. Yeah, that's that's suspected because of the extra heats. That's good though. Still. Yeah, another cutscene. Here comes cast cancel. We need more flesh and bone. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind. So now we're gonna use Peter, a journalist, doing some field work on World War One, which the team, the game tells you that it's just an inside work of the ancients. Basically, a plan to just get more flesh and bone for them. Particularly for the, for the Black Guardian to maintain its spine here. On the basement of the cathedral. This chapter can be pretty tricky. He has a lot of menu. Some tricks here and there. But it's definitely easier than it used to be. Also more consistent in general. Because we now use Celotapool for less sanity effects. And also with the new glitch, the magic refill. The last battle is super consistent. Fuck you. I'm not gonna cancel this. You can cancel this dead animation and like win a lot of time. But if you failed, you had to do all that summoning again, and it's it's just really tricky. Like it's definitely something you can do on a segmented run or individual level. But I'm not doing that on full any percent no thanks all right here comes the spell madness nope what are you doing 
Missing bind, I think. I always miss mine. Uh, something else? Yeah. I miss recovery. I'm gonna get it after this. recovery because we need it. We need it so much. <laughs> yeah, that's the Pargon madness. It's just so many Pargons. Okay, and here we're not gonna get too close to the border this part because otherwise we're gonna trigger the, tr the bomb thieves we don't want to do that you don't want the, the bomb thieves to get in your way and body block you or just troll you so as long as you don't touch the borders of this part like the the downward part of the carpet you're fine Second cell type of wall to help with sanity. I think I haven't seen sanity effects since we used this road. And it's not mandatory to sneak there for that trapper, it's just more safe. Because if you just run and go too far away, uh, the trapper is gonna explode. So I, I normally just do some sneaking run at the end. It's just a safe strat. It's like trading one second for a possible one minute time loss. Now we go for the boss immediately. There's no need to it for to go for any pulls or get the potion. Just go immediately. And then do this scripted battle. Hopefully not failing anything. You just gotta hit the right buttons. did on the second part, like the second spell I did, is the magic recovery, which is the casually the most useless spell in the game, because you spend magic to recover magic, and you actually spend the same amount that you recover. It's really just useless, right? But the thing is, thanks to the magic refill, um, we get the magic of that spell back be because of the glitch. So it's actually not that useless. It has some application for speedrun. And it makes this fight very trivial. This used to be a very tight fight and with some RNG in it. 
now is pretty much scripted. There's still a little bit of RNG on the third phase. But that's about it. Basically the, the amount of attacks that the Guardian decides to do at the end. That's that's it. It can be from like six to to nine or ten I think. Alright, so where did I lose time there? Let me think. Probably just menuing. That's my guess. So that's a ghost. We're gonna see that lady in the next chapter. In better shape first, and then in worse shape. Always remember to press B here to activate the thing. There, there was a couple of times where I just assumed that it was activated. I went upstairs just to find that I lost it like 40 seconds so I need to go back. Also, no sanity effects on Alex, which is pretty cool. I got like three on my PB. You are not, not free, free to leave this, this plane. plane. Until you complete a task for me. So now we come full circle with Edward's chapter. Edward was the narrator of the entire game, pretty much. So it's like the first time you get into this chapter is like very unsettling. Because the chapter don't start with a narrator. Because it's the chapter of the narrator. So you just see the like the the picture. I don't know, I, I feel like it's a it's a very cool grinding thing that they did. gonna have an encounter with Max. He was there, believe me. He saw it. Well, you can see it now. There he is. It's our ancestor. Maximilian Roybus punched him. Yeah, fuck it. Now let's see if I can grab this revolver on... Yeah. There you go. Fast pick up. There's a little strat to fast pick up that. And now the vampire. The infamous vampire. The one creature that probably gave you a lot of trouble in casual especially because you cannot save while the vampire is free so if you didn't save before that you're gonna have a, a bad time okay that was close it should be right all right that's good i was pretty close because i i actually failed the, the first shot so I was wondering if I I was going 
to get the other. Alright, so now shield. No. Uh, what else? Uh, I get enchant too. So our sanity is extremely bad here because we kill a lot of people while we were killing the vampire we actually kill two servants too those are casualties of, of going fast because doing that that magical attack is the fastest way to get rid of the vampire as far as we know it's basically just faster than the previous road we used to, to do. Okay, this should be in time. And I don't need seven invisible here. It's completely useless. You, you can just do three. Three invisible. But the thing is, it gave me the the perfect timing for my Chaturga pull incoming because that way I can just time the the reveals in such a way that I get I get very good timing for the Chaturga pull and now we gotta we gotta walk a lot to recover magic there's no need to do a pull here as Sir pointed out but that means we have to walk a lot. You recover magic when you walk, when you run, and I think you recover a little bit slower when you sneak. And you don't recover any while you are standing. Only if you have a pool, you can recover while standing. But if you have a pool, you are gonna recover like twice if you run. So now this should give me the perfect timing. I might have a, a, a couple of seconds left. Yeah, there you go. It's like pretty good timing. Because this cutscene can cancel your spell, by the way. And that's very bad. You wanna finish the, the spell before the cutscene. The closer you get to the cutscene, the better. As far as you don't get cancelled. So this pool lasts for the next part. That's a pretty good fight. I got some auto cancels. When you hit a wall or something, you get an auto-cancel on the attack. You can just attack immediately again. And you can also do like manual cancels on the attacks. But those are... They're harder and they're also usually slower than the auto-cancels. So it's, it's, it was good to get some there with the PR. And now, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna hear so many noises for about 15 minutes. Because we're not recovering sanity here. So you can turn your lights on, off if you want and just get creepy noises. Where do I have to go here? I just forget it. It's not number seven. I always forget this. So that's some seconds. It's fine. Alright, let's get the portal cancel. There you go. You just do an attack before going to a portal. 
and you're gonna cancel the walking animation into the portal. Taking on account the time it takes to do the attack, it's a trick that only saves 0.3 seconds if you get it. And if you failed it, you lose like one second. So yeah, that's that's it. So for you can fail like you can fail one for about three that you you don't fail. But yeah, if you get a lot of those, at the end you're gonna save time. Because we uh, just on this chapter we have to use the portals 18 times. And there's 18 more on Alex. And that's about 5.4 seconds per chapter if you get all of those. So yeah, just do 36 of those and you gain 10 seconds. It, it's something, you know? So I failed that one, it's fine. At least I, I failed it in the good way, which is when you just don't do the attack. The bad way is doing the attack too early. When you do that is when you lose like a second. Otherwise you just don't earn those 0 0.3. Here's a little cutscene where Edward recovers its stamina. His stamina. That's why I'm doing this part without pool. Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible. Edward would be tired by here. He still can be a little bit tired here. There goes one second. And yeah, I'm not gonna improvise revolver strats. I might look more into those those strats offline because yeah, every time I, I, I try to do a roading for Edward and Alex on stream, I just fail. Because you, you need to think so much, so it gets kind of boring for viewers, I know that. I'm supposed to do that pool in the previous rock room. But the good thing is that that particular guardian, I think, doesn't do magical attacks. Or maybe it does it, but no very often. Just another second. Okay, Trevor here. If I got bad luck, I might equip the revolver. Ah, that's fine. No, 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 no. Sell that by trying to fight all you I'm gonna go through this other side because there is a zombie to the left. I wanna get body blocked. Two. 
So you might be wondering, what the fuck are we doing here? We're, we're casting a super spell. And to get rid of this city. So the city has, has the power to, to do a super spell. They're not just big, they're actually level 9 spells. The biggest spells you can do is level 7. These are level 9. Alright, let's improvise a little bit. Whatever. Yeah, the thing about that room and why it, it's kind of cool to use a revolver there instead of an attack is that like you can do the, a preventive attack at the beginning and you'll be fine but if you're tr trying to react like because the, the trapper is not always in your way it's kind of lock base so usually what you're doing is you're trying to react to see whether the trapper is there or not. And there, there can be a second one, by the way, that can also be in your way. So wh while you're reacting and seeing if it's there or not, you're gonna be like in the middle of the run, <clears throat> of the room. And if you try to do the magical attack from there, the horror is probably gonna catch you with an attack. With a magical attack. And that's really bad. Because you're gonna be stuck for like a second or two. The blue horrors paralyze you with magical attacks. Okay, number four. So yeah, I'm I'm trading some some portal candles here for having the revolver. I think I'm gonna ha I'm gonna use it until the end, just for number nine. So here, Edward gets wasted to get out of that sunny effect. And that cutscene's always happen. Even if you had wasted all the the liquid porridge and you don't have any left, the cutscene's still there. I'm still gonna show Edward going for some liquid courage. So that right there saved like a second. Uh, what I'm doing here is that's gonna pay off for some of the portal cancers that I'm not doing here. Just a little bit. This one though, I'm not doing with with revolver because it's really just more consistent to do the attack here. The other trapper is just too far away. The other trapper is around here. And it's also a very tricky place to to like shoot it. It's very tricky and very dangerous to to get so close to it. And the horror survived all this time. That happens sometimes. Last one. And there is a last trap trapper that can can be a troll on the next room. It's 
So that's the giant spell that we're doing. It's a giant dispel to dispel this city. So now we, we got to escape. We should have enough pool to do that. So the troll trapper is around here, very close to this giant horror, which is very dangerous. Okay, I fell dead. Alright, don't get caught here. kind of close. You never want to get hit by that horror. I'm pretty sure it does extra damage because of its size. Alright, so how good is this? It looks, looks fine. It's about to end. No, no more scary noises for a while. Well, not really. We're going to have some, but... Oh, look at that. Nice. I guess I, I got a bad Edward on my PD. Oh no, no, I remember. On, on my PV I got a sanity effect on Alex. So the Alex part of the Edward was probably about 15 seconds of that time save. Oh, look at that. You fucker. This is probably one of the worst um, sanity effects. Because <laughs> you can't do anything. You literally can't do anything. The fuck I'm doing here? I don't wanna go here. Or, no, yeah, yeah, I wanna go here. Jesus. Got freaked out by the sunny effect. It's like five seconds. It's fine. Now I'm tired of always. Good thing this is Alex. Oh, that sucked. is pretty good if you use the revolver but sometimes you get a close trapper and that's a hard one with the revolver Let's don't fuck Michael. That's all I ask for. Really. Just Where play a good Michael. Death lurk. There don't get life. caught by Travers. Don't get the guns. Arguably the best weapon in the game. But we don't need it. And you actually take a lot of time to grab that. It's like 10 seconds. 
8 or 10 seconds to grab all that. Because you gotta grab the gun, uh, the ammunition, the other gun, the grenades. You grab a lot of stuff there. And you can choose to grab just one. The game, uh, the game doesn't allow you to just grab one. It makes you grab all of them. As far as I know. Okay, I need to do a pull here. I mean, uh, I need to, to change my binds, my assignments. So I can pull, put pull blue up, I think. Three pull blue up, so that way I have the the enchantment on the other. Okay, don't troll me. Thank you. This is the correct order. So I'm gonna do it here. Uh, we're getting double steps, that's really good. It's a nice sunny effect. Actually, if I hear double steps, I should react because I probably won't see any extra sunny effect. Okay, I'm gonna go safe here. Whatever. Trapper, dude. That second trapper. I never seen that trapper there. <coughs> I swear, <laughs> never seen that position. We already save a lot of time just from not doing mistakes, like stupid mistakes. Now we're gonna get this. Do a shield after that. Watch the bleeding ceiling.
gonna get the settled pool. I could also pull the the we off pool there. Or even better, like like um my this build. But I guess I'm gonna do it on on Alex, it's it's fine. Okay, last Alex cutscene. That's not Edward, that's Pius. And are you ready for this time save? This is gonna be huge. Last part, we're gonna match a pool, sanity pool, after the planets aligned. Yeah, I skipped that zombie, it's pretty good. Skip the other two. We need to grab Mansurg. Where you at? this little puzzle okay what is happening is this a sanity effect yeah it is there you go is, is it really happening? i don't know if i've seen one on that room ever on this room i mean I could have I could have done something there. Like uh I could have done a shield. Absolutely. But I just wasn't sure that it was that side of the epic. That's that's also not a very good one because you you're not very sure that you are in a side of the epic. Because it takes a lot. So we are gonna open this on the basement. I'm gonna borrow that idea from Sur. So that way I can assign this bill on the basement too. I mean the, the super basement on, on the end, end guy. No. That ended early because I was on the side of epic. Been down to. But I'm gonna stick with up. So last chapter, Enga again, but this this time destroyed. Um, with a lot of electricity and puzzles the kind of puzzles that get you stuck when you were a child of course we now we know how to solve them and yeah this sanity pool right here it's very important because 
unlike Edward's Enga, on Edward's Enga you cannot get any sanity effects. But here you can actually get some. And it's extremely crucial to don't get any. Because if you happen to get one and you didn't notice it, and you happen to run into electricity, you're gonna lose your shields. Alright, let's improvise a little bit. I'm gonna sacrifice some time on the portals. I'm fine with that. No, 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 no. We don't want to project a creature, we want to summon a creature. You know, actually, project a creature is a spell. It's an actual spell on this game. I mean, technically. But you can't do it. So there is kind of a secret spell, I guess. That is uh, Antorbok and Aratak. But the, the only entity that can do it in the game is the Celota Black Guardian on its third phase, or when you are too close to it, it starts doing an attack that is Project Creature. It's like a magical attack, but from the ground. At least it chose those, those runes. Consistent, right? Yes, it is. Great. Get this reveal invisible on use. I'm not gonna risk it. Right. We're gonna do a magical attack and we might use the revolver too. That was good. Because those one those two ones got like pretty late. Alright, that's pretty good. Two bullets, I think. Yeah, that's good. So now I can equip the the Gladius, but I'm gonna do it after this because <clears throat> I have a menu incoming. Oh, but not yet. There's, there's two portals that I can do with the Gladius, so that's 0 0.6 seconds. But an extra pause is gonna be one second timeless, so yeah, I, I'm gonna wait. I prefer to wait until 7, which is now. Here's 7. There you go. She's tired. Pargon, Pargon, yes! If you have... <laughs> if you have Franker Faces C, um, you can actually do bargains on the chat. 
Why do I get tired here? It's kind of weird. You can spam Paragon emotes if you want. They're free on my channel. But yeah, this game is all about Paragon. Right, so here's a menu incoming. You can set up a lot of stuff. You, you, uh, come on, and you, no, 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 don't assign that one, oh my god, that was so slow, this one here has to be a level 7 attack, any other level will not work. Which is kind of a shame. We got four more portals. And now we have Gl Gladius, so can save some time here and there if I can get it of course <laughs> I can lose some time too explode no oh, you didn't explode I hate you all right not gonna risk it no thanks That part you need to sneak if you don't want to get caught by a very annoying effect. Uh, but the game only requires you to sneak for like some like some amount of time. You don't have to sneak the whole time. You can actually just match the sneak button, or which is better, uh, pressing it on on a certain rhythm. So the game's register always always register that you are on sneaking state, but you are actually running a little bit too. So you are going faster than you should be. And yes, there's no other way to get this. We need these shields. Either that or losing so many HP on time on not not back. So that's because of that we we did a, a road that manages all the shields in, in a good way. And I just forgot this one. There you go. Some little mistakes here and there. Summoning, don't fuck up the trapper. It's all that matters. There you go. And yeah, no TIS position. No thanks. Because <laughs> it's, it's too much risk. If I get a good angle here, the zombie will appear very close. And because Alex is right on top of the teleporter, <coughs> the zombie will skip its animation. It normally walks until the, the center of the teleporter. 
it takes a bunch of time. We're gonna do the same with the horror here. Oh, we got to the two hour marker. Finally. I got too close to the wall there, and I walked a little bit. It wasn't intended. So just one more shield after this. Okay, let's see if I can have good horrors. Or if I'm gonna get trolled. Magic should be okay. Look at that! I'm not gonna have shields. <laughs> Whatever. This is a five shield. Yeah, I, I, I really think that I should just uh, do a safe pool here. Because this is the second time I got trolled by a very good, by very good luck, basically. Let's see how it goes. Thank you, guard. Just don't fuck up, Pius. And uh, we're gonna be okay. Cause I can actually die here. If I'm not couches enough. Okay, very early magical attack. I've seen that. Trigger your attack, thank you. Get another one there. Fuck you. Wait a little bit. Go here. Elia's gonna go do the job for us. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty far away. For some reason, that failed. It's, whatever. It's part of the job. I say go the first three. I'm fine with that. I could have got one there, actually. Okay. 
Okay, it's kind of far away from me, so I won't get the Jolo, I think. Or can I? Oh, okay. I still get it. Okay, Max. Thank you, Max. You did it. You did it, dude. I can't believe that one was far. I was supposed to be. Magnify manipulation. Fuck you. I hate when that happens. I still don't know why it happens. But sometimes you, you just miss an attack. It happens a lot with Paul. And I think with Max. Okay. Let's go, Animenchu cancel. Let's get it this time. Okay, that's uh that's skill. Look at this battle. Look at this epic battle. Please die. I think I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead. Oh my god. What happened with the with the shotgun? Why the why did it was so bad? Jesus, <laughs> that was such a bad ending. <laughs> it's still BB though, <laughs> by a lot. All right, but look at that. I I lose forty seconds just just on Pius. Too far away, really? Whoa. Thank you for the G. Yeah, I guess I, I had to practice that last part. It is finally... I'm still getting used to the animation cancel. The ancient's plans are finished. For now, at least. You have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you. Just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you, but there was so little time, and so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. Where emptiness had been, new knowledge now seeped inside. Something happened then. I realized that I was not the only one, that there were many others like me, in other places, other universes, fighting the same fight, all to serve the needs of the great ancient, and to have my world spared from eternal darkness. Let's go close, especially when he does shield, okay. Yeah, it's essentially because I so it comes to pass. like I pretty much got that same ancients. distance without any mention cancel, I get it. But it's probably that thing that you mentioned that obliterated the insanity you had to get closer to it every time you do like a little bit closer every time you do an animation cancel. And that's kind of tricky for me. The boundless Uliauth has decimated the power of Chaturga. All at once. Separate and simultaneous. But the universe is made of many time streams, many possibilities, all in harmonious synchronicity. Only Mantarok remains, slowly dying. Mantarok. This game is all about Mantarok. Overseer, Warden of Ancients. 
chaos, an entity trapped between the veils of reality and the enchanted stakes that impale its flesh. Unable to rally its guardians, it could rely only on its subtle manipulations of the royal. So there's this thing to destroy its uh, on the game that every time you finish the game, knowing the nature of the ancients, um, used its okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Each other. To explain in this, <laughs> don't want to interrupt this. Now it will languish forever, festering in its tomb, plotting. All right, so every time you beat the game, um, like let's say the first time you beat the game, Alex says something like, "Okay, I spared the war. I mean, I saved the war from eternal darkness. It was so close." Uh, I couldn't just destroy the war with the other ancient ancient that I summoned. And it's something like that. Then on the second time, if you save that and you go for another fate, she says something like, like something happened at that moment. I kind of feel that there was something else doing the same thing as me. And then on the third one, you get this one, which is... She, she felt something deeply inside and she talked about multiverses, like... In other universes, there was this thing and all. And this is pretty much the game being pretty self-aware of what is going on. You're basically playing the game three times with different paths. Uh, so it's, in a way, it's like alternative realities or alternative universes. And the game is, is extremely aware of that. And it, it's like Alex kind of feels that at the end of the your third playthrough. I know it's I, I think it's kind of a good detail. Because the, this game is so self aware in in many things. Like the fact that it, it breaks the four the fourth wall on some sanity effects. So yeah. About the run what can be done here? I uh, this run is pretty good. <laughs> I guess I need to see my golds. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know. Like, from, from the, the sum of this, it, it kind of feels like I can save two more minutes, right? Uh, one of those is more or less on Pius. And the other, it's probably just optimization from all episodes. Um, I also got some mistakes on on the binding on Alex. So I guess, okay, so that, that plus 42 is from the previous run, not from the goal. So I can probably say an entire minute on Alex, for sure, with a better bind. And better animation cancel. I didn't have a proper animation cancel in a PV yet. So I can still even gold more on that chapter. And then, yeah, the, the rest is just optimization in general. Like, don't f mess up any menu. It's gonna be hard. Like, sub to seven. I guess I can sub to seven if I just do this same run with a better Pius, or, and better Alex in general. And sub to 6, it's probably impossible. <laughs> I mean, it's not impossible, but it's, it's really super hard. <laughs> and what else? I got some sanity effects. Oh, that's another thing I got in Alex. I got a very bad sanity effect. Two, two of them, actually the Hamlet head or the head of Shakespeare if you want and the controller mal malfunction those two are pretty bad I got another one on Roberto one on Elia I don't remember more But yeah, it's still good. 
I'm happy about this. I'm definitely happy about this, BB. So we're gonna save this. Now it's saved. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like these golds are too good, <laughs> you know. I, I'm kind of doubting a little bit about them, but it, it does feel possible. Like, let's see. So on Roberto, I can save like 25 seconds. Roberto is the Forbidden City. Uh, that was probably because of the sanity ethic. And some bad movement or option or whatever. Then there is like 7 seconds on Peter. I don't know exactly why it was that. I think I got bad menu at some point. Then on, on Michael, there is like 10, 14 seconds. Uh, that was the sanity effect on Alex, I think. And yeah, then there's the minute on Alex, so yeah. 